by Des Moines from Fairhawk, America. <laughs> This is our first full week here working at Bearhawk and I'm actually super excited. And I know it's only been one day, but it was actually a ton of fun to see legit tangible progress in what you're creating, which may not look like a lot right now, but it was cool to see little pieces start to come together. Did you have a good morning? I did have a good morning. Did you have a good morning? Yeah. We were up bright and early. Thanks to Ty, right Ty? We're up very early. Yeah, very early. <laughs> Ty's up at 4 a.m. every morning, so us being up at eight is like not impressive to him at all. <laughs> You know when I was telling you that you're like putting Going crooked? The, yeah, and you're just bending the bit. You're not pushing like straight down on it. You're you're pushing it in an angle. First of many, I'm sure. The first of many. So that'll be three dollars and seventy nine cents. Yeah. <laughs> firing myself from the drill. <laughs> two in like two minutes. <laughs> Take all these off and deburr and clean. There's no shavings in between the tabs and the former. Okay. And then we're gonna rivet all these on. Okay, when you say fabricate, to build a, a bracket. Oh, so it's like from scratch, scratch? Yep. Create a two inch by one and a quarter inch <laughs> plate. That's what we're doing. And then we're gonna put a hole 0.41 inches from each side. Um, and then we're gonna bend it in here. Make it into a V shape. Don't ask me how we're gonna do this, <laughs> but we're gonna do it. And it's gonna look great. Let's go. Now we're gonna go drill the holes in them before we bend them, just because we can lay it flat on the table and drill the holes instead of trying to drill them into it. Wow! I don't know who that is that they're meeting with. Yeah, that's cheap. Like, they all dressed up. Yeah, he probably thinks he's important. <laughs> what we're gonna do is bend these and then match drill these. Are you saying back. bend or bin? Bend. Bin. Bin. How do you say it? I don't know what you're saying. Bin. Bend. B I N? Bend. Like B E N D? Oh, I just say D more at the end. Bend. What did I, what did I say? Bin. Bend. 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 That's what I've been saying is bend. I was like, am I. This is another terminology. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're, we're gonna go bend. <laughs> This one from the top. You know we got <laughs> what you need, baby. So take it alone. It's the foot point for me. Lunch was fire. Found a new local spot. They have like some of these specials for every few days, which is kind of fun. But we're trying all them out right now. Anyway, lunch was good. On to stringers. The so stringers are pieces of metal that will actually help form the shape of the fuselage so like the fabric will go over them. What happened? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I was wondering about stuff being in it. Golly, I'm like really late. Oh, how's the hand? <laughs> Did it? Yeah, I found the bit and there's still meat on the tail. No, it broke the bit. Yeah, no, uh. it didn't break off in my hand or anything. Yeah. It's fine though. I just taped it up. And then Dr. McKenzie took care of you. Yeah, she cut a bunch of fat out of my hand. It's <laughs> one way to lose weight. I'm gonna hook up to the trash trailer and bring it over here so we can get rid of this trash. <laughs> I gave you all my love and I gave you all my 
trust and I gave you everything that you need. But you own you tie what a Christmas ornament. <laughs> Just a tad that when they go paint the piece large to keep it in order. The Christmas gifts we gift from him. Ladies, he's single. I'm just gonna put the stringers on the top and the bottom. The bottom stringers are just a full length stringer and we'll tack them up here and then mark where we need to bend them and we'll put a slight bend in them so okay. they go up in the fuselage because if they just go straight it sticks out down here. So you just want to make it where when you cover this with fabric it just tapers out. So Paul added these stringers on yesterday and then I'm going to be adding some to the top today. I haven't done stringers yet so this will be kind of new for me. Let's roll this. <laughs> No, no, not right. You're actually doing something. You're actually doing it wrong. Yeah, yeah. I did that yesterday. Oh, I'm actually about to go the wrong way. <laughs> Nothing's okay. wrong. Uh, apparently, this one like uh, pulled. It just twisted. It twisted a little, little bit. But Ty's saying um, the fabric goes on top of it, and the fabric's super strong. Apparently, like the fabric itself will pull it back to where it should be, which is not crooked. And your left side shaping up to be crooked right oh, now. Oh no! Just saying. Just saying. Oh no! I'm fired from stringing. This one goes down to twelve. Gonna hit the ground running. Got our flaps. afternoon session here we are about to do floorboard tabs they have this nifty little jig that they uh, they printed with their 3d printer and we'll actually just put this directly on the floorboard marker hole punch the hole and then get it out we'll drill these center holes that you just marked okay then we'll upsize it to a 27 then we'll use the nut plate jig to drill the nut plate holes then we'll countersink those holes and then you install the nut plates. So there's a lot of steps just to do the floorboard tabs. Floorboards, man. We could just like leave the plane without them, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's that jig that he made. And it just aligns where the hole will go on the top and the bottom of the horizontal. My understanding is Virgil's gonna be putting all of these print files on the website for future builders to be able to print these little jigs really quickly. In the pipers, we have this one bolt at the back of the tail. It's the bolt that connects the push rod to the elevator. And uh, we call it the Jesus bolt because that one bolt, if that gives way, you lose your elevator. Well, in this guy, they actually have four bolts. And uh, I'm liking that. Good peace of mind in this one. I no longer have one bolt to save my life. See you Monday. See you Monday. Have a good weekend. Have a good flight. Thank you. Ty and I are going to go fishing. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> we might. If yeah. we all if he's right. Not being, if he's not being responsible, then we will. Oh my gosh, don't give me major FOMO. <laughs> wow, you didn't even invite Peter? We're drinking beer, listening to music, and fishing. Oh my gosh! The whole fan's going fishing, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy Peter. <laughs> I don't like it. If you know anything about Aaron and I, we freaking love Costco, so. There's one on the way back to Fairview from Oklahoma City. So uh, definitely probably $300 poorer, but it was well worth it. So we've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. So I'm just gonna be grinding the rest of the night. We'll see you in the morning. Wakey, wakey. Thank you. Let's go. And that's a wrap. Took almost all day, but we got all the floorboard nut plates 
drilled out. There are over a hundred, well over a hundred. I have no clue how many of those things. It's amazing to me how long some of this stuff takes. Like drilling those holes is pretty precise and you don't want to over drill them, under drill them, but got her done. The next thing for us to do is just go have a nice sunset flight. Did you miss me? <laughs> I walked in the shop today and I was like, you guys did so much work. And for some reason, it just looks so much more different right now. Anyway, I'm excited to be back on the job today. Yeah, I wanna tell you guys what's happened. So back in like November, December timeframe, we started working with Autumn at Evoke and she like crafted this awesome paint scheme for us. It was freaking beautiful. Aaron and I kind of sat on it for a month and we're like, trying to feel it out like is this the paint scheme for us and one morning i'm gonna call her out but this girl woke up and she's <laughs> like i don't like the paint scheme anymore i'm like oh my gosh so we started from scratch and so now we have this new paint scheme also evoke was awesome with that they have this unlimited package where they're like hey we'll do as many renditions as you want and we just want you to have the best paint scheme for you so we texted <laughs> autumn we're like Dude, I'm so sorry, but I think this is our new inspo picture. Yeah, so now we have our new paint schemes that she sent over and we've been we've been playing with them a little bit with her, so we have tail designs. But anyway, uh, Aaron and I, this is the first time we're actually able to like kind of visualize it. I don't know, it's difficult to see like a 2D image and envision it on a 3D object, but uh, I think this is what we're going with. I feel like it brings like a broader or something. Well, we've done enough uh, trying to figure out our paint scheme today. I think it's about time we get back uh, to work. Put me in, coach. Put me in. <laughs> so we'll crimp that. We're building custom control cables for our aircraft. We're putting them all together, sizing them to length, and making them for our plane. <laughs> we are what we yes, we rule our own domain. Yeah, yeah. Keep our heads up high, put you on like a chuggy and chain. They're all done. They're connected to everything right here. We got our rudder cables, our elevator cables, our trim cables. They're all made and done. Can we do a cable being done happy dance? that putting that together would have taken literally weeks. And it only took us like a week and a couple days. <laughs> we don't need all of these tail surfaces on anymore, so we are taking them off and say so long to them until, I think, paint. We're gonna fabric them, paint them, and that'll be the next time they appear back on the plane. Uh, but until then, they'll just be on a shelf, so we're done with those. As if hope was a pill or a bottle or a phone.